Well, here's our new generator we just got. Genrack, 10 kW, 10,000 watts, extended life. It's got an 18 horse Briggs and Stratton V twin van, uh, Vanguard, overhead valves. So, uh, the barber shop I go to, uh, we've known him for quite a while now, and he had this out back laying around. And he said he wanted a snowblower for the winter, so we traded a five horse craftsman track driven snowblower for this generator. Definitely a good deal. So we plan to use it as a house generator for when the power goes out. It's going to need a bath and oil change and all kinds of other stuff. Generator head doesn't look too bad, except for that crack there. Fins are cracked, and the 110 receptacle is broken, which is really no big deal. But it's got... It's faded, but it's got the ignition switch to turn the engine on and off, idle control, 12 volt DC battery charge, 120 volt AC, 60 hertz. One hundred twenty two hundred and forty volt AC and two hundred and forty volts, which that'll be the one that we plug into the house with. And it's made in USA, which is the best part. But we hopefully will get it running at some point. It seems like, you know, whether you can see down there or not, I think it was run dry at one point, or all the gas evaporated out of it. And we got some oil leaking, which is really no big deal. Uh, the oil actually isn't too bad in it. You know, it's fairly clean. It hasn't been used a whole heck of a lot, but it has been beaten around for a while. Uh, it's got a weird little 12 volt battery there which if so I might try to replace it with a 12 volt garden tractor battery. Fuel shut off and everything. So it's either electric start or pull start which actually doesn't pull over that hard as I thought. You know, it's fairly easy. So we'll see if we can get it running. It's got Air cleaner. This is actually, in my opinion, the absolute worst cover. I hate those clips. I'd rather have the screw-on ones. But anyways, air cleaner doesn't look all that bad, but which was weird, which I found interesting. Whether you can really see it good. It was on fire at one point. I don't know how it managed to get on fire, but a lot of those paper fins in there are all burnt up and everything, and the plastic's melted. Really don't know how it happened. Chokes on the side here. Not gonna bother clipping that down right now. As long as it'll rest on there for now. But anyways, that's our new generator that we definitely got for a very good deal. The only thing I don't like about it also is this handle. It doesn't really come out far enough to move it around easily. But I don't know, I'm very happy we got it, so. 10,000 watts ought to be able to run our whole house and out in the garage here, you know, be able to run the welder and everything when the power is out. I don't know why we need to, but you never know. And it's even got the lifting hook so I can lift it with my loader and put it on the back of the truck and stuff. So, anyways, that's our new generator that we, well, not really new, but used a generator that we just got 